Oh, they're tiny. They thought yeah. they were eight weeks old. It, she said three months at first. When Kaylee Roy heard about a rescue effort for dogs on the Northern Cheyenne Reservation, she cleared out her car and headed to Lame Deer. We got a litter of puppies and um, four adults. And we could have taken a whole busload probably, but um, you know, we did what we could do. On her way to Sheridan to deliver the dogs to a rescue home, Roy meets up with Ishan King, the founder of the Freckles and Tomcat Rescue, based in Hardin, to get them all vaccinated. Here comes another one. You just, that's hard to look at an animal that's starving or freezing and just walk away from them. So the main thing I would stress is that we need foster homes, foster homes, it's the first time these two women have met, brought together by an all-hands-on-deck effort to collar or remove and foster dogs across the reservation. An effort that started this weekend when tribal government announced plans to round up and euthanize stray dogs, citing concerns of bites, mauling, and disease. I'm sure there's nobody in the tribe that enjoys it coming to that, but it's become a safety concern. Feral dogs, semi-feral dogs, they pack up with friendly dogs. It's just become a concern. A big concern that turned deadly just over one year ago. Back in December of 2021, MTN brought you the story of Duke Little Whirlwind. His family says the 58-year-old was found dead, killed by a pack of dogs. It's a very big problem. Um, people are walking around with scars on them. All the time. They're, they're reported to law enforcement. Uh, nothing ever gets done. It's a problem Tammy Devers says is preventable through spaying and neutering. It has to be addressed before it comes to that. And the only answer is less puppies being born. Devers has 20 years of animal rescue experience and took in more than a dozen dogs from lame deer. I had agreed to take two juveniles and some small ones, and I ended up taking 15. <laughs> but how do you say no? How do you say no? This is one of the puppies that was brought into Hamster Boy and Tiger Lily after it was rescued from lame deer over the weekend. She's about eight weeks old and she's an Akita mix. She came in with her whole litter. What volunteers need now is help with donations, emergency fosters, and soon responsible adoptions. Rescues are overwhelmed. Shelters are overwhelmed. And it's just not a reservation problem. It's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere and compassion for both people and pets. In Hardin Jackie Coffin, MTN News.